This is gonna make me sound like a whore. There's nothing wrong with whores. I love whores. <coughs> I can't film videos. Cool. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be filming a Q&A video. I asked you to ask me a bunch of questions on Instagram and Snapchat. If you don't already have me on Instagram and Snapchat, they're both here, here, here. I can't even say my name, so we all know that by now. But yeah, go look at my Instagram, go look at my cute pictures, hit me up on Snapchat, let's chit chat, why not? So, ugh, I don't my phone. So I am going to go through them now and give you answers. What do I say? Ew. So I am going to look through them now and answer them for you guys. Is that good? Oh, my seat's creaking. Fun, cool, okay. You know when someone sends you a Snapchat that really hot and you're like, do I answer straight away or do I like play it cool and like, you know, don't reply for like five minutes? You know what I mean? Play like hard to get. I'm gonna play hard to get. Mm. Hot guy. First question Was dropping out of sixth form a good choice for you personally and do you recommend it? Kiss, kiss. Sixth form. So, if you didn't know, I went to like nearly the first year of sixth form. I dropped out in June. Yeah, like towards the end of June. Um, and yeah, I sort of went to sixth form because I didn't really know what I wanted to do exactly. You know what I mean? I've always known the sort of area I want to be in sort of later on in life, but I wasn't sure what I wanted to do after high school. So I was like, hey, sixth form, my friends are going there and like, I'm still in school, but like, it's a bit of responsibility, but it's not like, here, go to like a college and meet all these new people. You know what I mean? So I wasn't really feeling ready for that. But I just like wasn't in a good place when I was in sixth form. Um, I think if I was like where I'm at mentally now, back like two years ago when I was in sixth form, I would have been good. Like get it done, sorted, bish bash bosh. I did media, which I really, really enjoyed. Like, I wish I stuck around. I wish I could, like, just do media, because I loved media. But I was doing, like, travel and tourism and business, which was just, like, not what I wanted to do, like, at all. But if you also didn't know, like, in the summer before sixth form, which is so crazy talking about this, because I was just talking to someone, it's literally, like, two years ago today. The whole, like, fire thing happened. So... Obviously, I wasn't in like a good place going into sixth form after like just having that situation happen. So, as you can imagine, mentally I wasn't in the best place and I think I was in the worst place I've ever been mentally and it just wasn't very good for me. Um, so yeah, I just like, I stuck around, I sort of told myself, do the first year and then just figure it out. <coughs> but it literally got to July time and I was like, I've just got to drop out because it was just like, it was becoming such a toxic place for me and I just needed to like, peace out and figure it out. I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. There was like, a few projects I was working on like outside of school in the sort of like acting area because she's multi-talented um <laughs> but yeah i didn't have like a set plan i didn't know what i was gonna do i just knew i couldn't be in sixth form anymore um but i'm really glad i did that because i pretty much took like a year off of like the majority of stuff and i just like consistently worked on my mental health and yeah I'm just in like the best place I've ever been and like a lot of amazing stuff's happened since then and yeah do I recommend it I mean mm, I can't really recommend dropping out of school but you know what's right for you and at that time that's what was right for me, you know what I mean? There's such a negative 
connotation surrounding like dropping out of school. As long as you're dropping out for genuine reasons and it's not just cause like, oh, I don't wanna be here, like I don't wanna do work, I'm just gonna like stay at home all day. I don't recommend it, but you know what's right for you. I think also it's like good to remember that sixth form isn't for everyone and that's okay. It's not a big deal. There's nothing wrong with just saying, peace out, I've gotta go figure it out. You know what I mean? So yeah, I hope that answered your question. Okay, where's your favorite place to visit and why? Ooh, that's a good question. I love London. I have like such a connection with London. I definitely think I'm going to be studying fashion there one day. Um, but I've always just had a very strong connection with London. It's very different to where we live, as you know. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's such like a go, go, go place. I just get so inspired being in that city and in that environment and yeah, it just makes me want to like do things, you know what I mean? But also, I love Brighton. Like going there recently, I genuinely could have stayed there and just like never come back. It's such like, it's sort of like the best parts of Aberystwyth and London mixed in together. It's just like, I really vibe with Brighton, so I definitely wanna go back and visit there. I love anywhere, just like anywhere that's like a city. Manchester's cool, Birmingham's cool. Love Lincoln, that's where my mum's from, love Lincoln. Anywhere else? Yeah, I think that's it. Next question. Do more people recognize you after your TV appearance? Yeah, like, yeah. It was weird, cause when we went to Manchester at the start of the month for my birthday, it was like surreal. I can't remember if I talked about it in that video, but like obviously we were in like all the gay clubs so like more people are gonna know me there but it was just like it was so surreal like this guy was crying and it's just like i don't know it's just wild like i don't even know how to describe it because like it's weird i know i've done like the documentaries and stuff but it doesn't feel like that sort of like i'm gonna cry when i meet you type of thing you know what i mean like don't get me wrong, I like appreciate it. Like if anyone wants to come up and say hi, like come up and say hi, but I don't know, it's weird because I feel like I forget people have watched it. And I know that sounds so stupid, but like, I just forget people have watched it. So when people come up and just like, even just say hi, I've like seen you on TV. It's like, what do you mean? Like, it's just crazy. It's such a surreal experience. Cause like, I don't feel like that type of person, I don't, do you know what I mean? It's just crazy. But yeah, it's fun though. Like I love meeting anyone that like knows who I am. Like that's like, I feel like that's what my birthday was. Just like partying with people who like knew who I was and it was crazy. Like taking pictures with people, like what? It's just wild. But yeah, it's crazy. Um, do you remember your first kiss? Yeah, do I? <laughs> okay, you know, <coughs> this is gonna make me sound like a whore. There's nothing wrong with whores. I love whores. But there's like four, yeah, four people it could be. Like, who came first? The chicken or the egg, you know what I mean? I remember it was in a forest, but I don't remember who it was with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, mom, love you. Why are you so far away from me? Let me come see you. Sure. Come say hi. Um, any plans for any more documentaries? I think so. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I'm working on a lot of stuff. Like, yeah. There's definitely lots of things happening. So like, keep your eye out. But yeah, I don't really know what I can say, what I can't say, but you'll find out one day. Okay, this person has asked so many questions, I'm so here for it, so like... So, if you could change one thing that's gone wrong in your journey, what would it be? Gone wrong? I don't really know if anything's gone wrong. I mean, getting set on fire wasn't great, but like, you know. But I don't think I have really anything I had to change, so yeah. 
Other than Vans, what is your favorite brand of shoe? <gasps> are you coming for me? What are shoes am I like? I don't really know on that one. Good question though. What is my favorite color? I just love colors. Like, yeah. All the colors. All of them. If you dyed your hair, what color would you dye it? Ooh, I'm actually about to like really change up my hair. That's why I have it like covered in like coconut oil right now. Cause I want it to be in like good condition. But um, yeah, keep your eyes out. Cause I'm about to change it up. Well, that's fun. Like guess down below what you think I'm gonna change my hair color. If you could only live with one pair of shoes, which would you choose? Ooh, I feel like, I feel like these ones. They're like really dirty right now. Um, yeah, probably those ones. Cause I feel like surprisingly, they go with everything. You know what I mean? And they're comfortable, they'll last forever. So yeah, flame bands. What would you say is the worst part of transitioning? Love you girl, love you too. Um, worst part of transitioning? Nothing. Um, worst part of transitioning? I don't know. Like, literally nothing. In my case, like, yeah. Sorry to give, like, boring answers, but I didn't think anything. It's just been, like, the best time, like, the biggest relief. I've never been, like, happier or felt more comfortable in my life, so yeah, literally nothing. And I think if there's anything that's like slightly not good, all the positives outweigh it, you know what I mean? And like negative people, like I've dealt with that my whole life and I really couldn't care less, so, oh. Did you, <laughs> did you always know you're a model of heavenly proportions? Stop. <sighs> Don't get married, like, Mm. Um, I actually did. Um, I found out when I sold my soul to the devil when I was, I think, 14. Um, and everything's just been, like, really good since then. So, yeah. Thank you. Next question. Did your parents know you was transgender? By the way, your lips are amazing. Thank you, bitch. Um, did they know? Um, yeah, they always knew something was up. So I think that's why they, when I told them, they were cool with that. Yeah. What music are you really into right now? Ooh, that's a good question. Let's have a look, shall we? Well, I'm like, was just playing Beyonce Ape Shit. Oh, I love anything Billie Eilish. Like, I love her. Her new song, so good. This song, both of it, hold up, I'm sorry. <laughs> both of Iggy's new songs, like, bitch. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Oh, 
Okay, next question. Where do you get most of your clothes from? I love your style. Thank you. Um, I honestly just like anywhere that's like a charity shop or a vintage shop. If you're in Aberystwyth, I love Craft and Coastal Vintage. That's where I like most of my clothes from. Depop, love Depop. Again, most of my clothes are from Depop. Just trying to think what's behind me. I just love going to charity shops or vintage shops because I feel like if you just dig around, you'll find stuff you love if you have like, you know your style, you know what I mean? I love. Next question. Are you single? So single. Hit me up. Marry me. Don't marry me. I'm just gonna do a couple more and then I think we're done. Um, pipe it up. Always pipe it up. Uh, always pipe it up. How long have you been on hormones for? Ooh, so I, so, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Great. Um, I just started estrogen like three months ago, four months ago. Yeah, two months ago, three months ago, two months ago, three months ago. Around that time. Wow. You know what it was? I started estrogen the day after I uploaded my first YouTube video. So that was a Tuesday, whatever Tuesday it was. I went down to London on the Wednesday and I got them that day and I took my first estrogen that day. So whenever that was, that's how long. And I was on testosterone blocker, obviously I'm still on it. But I was taking that for a year before then. So, yeah. So I think that wraps up all our questions for today. Thank you so much if you asked me a question. And thank you for watching. Let me know down below what you want to see on my channel. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Yeah. Also, how proud are we? I haven't missed, like, a week since I started uploading. Because I'm so professional. So professional, so professional. I'm also so hungry. I want McDonald's. Yeah. Catch me at McDonald's.